Okay, so I'm creating this video because I had one hell of a time trying to figure out the fix for this. And turns out I need to replace a part as well as make some needed adjustments. So the short of it is, <clears throat> my tension settings went to hell. So I normally went with a resistance of 10. All of a sudden one day, it was like I could hardly move the, uh, the legs. So looking into the manual, I found out that you need to have a look at this arm. So basically what it is, these are magnets that slide up and down over this wheel that gives it tension. Now mine had gone pretty much to the point where it was almost the bottom here was actually almost touching. So for adjustment purposes, what you need to do, first things first, don't touch any of this stuff. Like the the uh, the pie here, don't take this off. Some people show it to be taken off. The only time you need to take that off is if the the pie itself, this, this quarter pie, has gone all the way around. So in some cases, people have posted up saying that's the case. If you can get away with just making some adjustments up top here, you can see this with the screw, which will help adjust this arm. So I did all that, and for me, that wasn't the case. It turned out my motor itself, this thing, this here, was actually toast. So mine was making a more revolution than it was supposed to rather than very minor adjustments. So I ended up having to order another one, but I just wanted to show basically how you fix that as well as make the adjustment. So once you have either replaced this, if the if you find it making too many adjustments, because what was happening for me was I I set up the arm. What's supposed to happen? Sort of for the focus of your light. Maybe that might help. What was happening for me? I'd make I'd put this in the proper position. So what what you do according to the book? These magnets here. You adjust this arm so that the magnets are at the bottom of this with the bottom of the magnet so right here on the maximum resistance of 16 so unplug the machine take off this panel once you have this off then go ahead plug the machine back in and put it up to a resistance of 16 good idea to unscrew this from the plastic housing and then set the resistance to 16. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to show that. So <clears throat> this is what it looks like on the lowest setting of one. So let's go ahead. I'll do this one arm here. Okay. So it's on one right now. Let's end this, start a new one. So again, it's on one. So I don't know if you can see that. It's on one. And I'm going to put my resistance all the way to 16. So this feels nice and good, and it's all the way to 16. So we can now see that the magnetic arm has gone up. So again, this is your resistance when this wheel spins. And you can see there, I've gone ahead and set the magnets level with the disc. So what happens is when 
you're using the machine and you're adjusting the resistance, this arm will slowly move up and down. Again, that's right out where level one was. So when you either A, have to replace this because it's just burned out, it's going more than it's supposed to, or you find your machine, the resistance itself, not working properly. Again, some people took this off. You don't, I did that in the first one and found out I really shouldn't have done that. I didn't make a difference anyway because my motor itself was not working. But um, it's just easier to go ahead and you're going to make your adjustments up here. So you can get in there, yeah. So you can move this up and down to basically give it its tension. If that isn't enough, there's also, I can get some light here, there's another one. I think I see where I'm at here. Sorry, right there. So that one is right behind the wheel. So that is the other adjustment that you can make to give, uh, to help out with giving it, it some room up here on the top. So again, if you find you have a tension issue, just make sure on level 16, the highest resistance that the, this arm and the magnets are aligning the bottom of the magnets with the bottom of the disc make your adjustments here as well as back here if you need to you should be able to do it from the top but if you can't make some minor adjustments at the bottom and only you move the quarter pi if you find that it's it's for some reason the motor messed up and it went too far which it has been reported doing so in my case once again the motor itself was toast it was going way too far than it's supposed to each rotation i'd be on 16 at this setting and I'd get down to five. And instead of that being where it should be one, five was putting me down to like the bottom and it was getting way too much tension, like on the motor itself. So anyways, that was the fix for me for my Bowflex Max Trainer M5. Also, this part for me in Canada was like $23, $24 shipped. So I think in the States it was like, in the states i think to ship was like 20 bucks something like that anyways i hope that helps if you have a tension setting issue thank you